Paul's in New York City. Hi, Paul. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave and John. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, I just finished, I just finished the total money makeover, and um, my rent's over fifty percent of my take home pay. Um, I'm a single dad that just went through a really long and expensive divorce, and I'm just trying to figure out uh, how to get my situation under control. Wow. Sorry. That's horrible. Well, I mean, can we agree that fifty percent of your take home pay is not mathematically sustainable? Yes, absolutely. And and the hard part is, uh, I so I have a two bedroom apartment, uh, so that my son has space, and um, my rent is relatively affordable for Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't doubt that. I mean, you live in one of the most expensive real estate markets in the world. Yeah. So that I don't doubt that, but obviously you don't make enough money to live there. Yeah. So one of the two things, if you want to have a sustainable life and not end up with, you know, substantial financial damage to your life or uh-huh. you struggle and have stress, you're going to either increase your income in the next months or even year um, dramatically, or you're going to move. Well, the uh, the situation becomes uh, even more complicated when you know, so I have split custody of my son, and in our agreement, um, the his his school is already set to stay in Brooklyn um, for the next four years, and then we would have to work out where high school is, which would most likely stay in the city. And I'm already I live in the neighborhood where his school is, and I already commute an hour into my job in Manhattan. Was your divorce, um, was it amicable? Did y'all sit down and shake hands or was it a mess? It was a mess. Okay. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a photographer. Okay. You're going to change careers or you're going to move. Yeah. Yeah. Because dude, I mean, Regardless of the constraints that you and your ex-wife and the courts have put on you, none of you get a pass on math because we decided these things. Math is still going to kick your butt. Yeah. And I, I would love to just wave a wand and make this all okay, I don't, but I, my magic wand's low on batteries. So... Something is going to change, and you're either going to change it or it's going to be changed for you because this is not sustainable. Bad things are going to happen and force you out of this situation, and um, you're just not able to be there. It's that simple. Um, Or good things are going to happen, and you find different housing, a different housing arrangement, you find, uh, and more income to be able to sustain this, but it's just, uh, it's not like a Dave rule and it's not like, well, here's the best thing you can do. This is, you know, you simply cannot survive doing this long-term. I mean, you can survive for a few months or maybe a year, but you've got to have a plan to develop a life that, that works. And this doesn't work. This is going to lead to homelessness. And that's at the end of this line. This just becomes a mess is because you've created a, an unsustainable, you created a very anxious life. I'm just thinking about this little boy that comes home and half of his life comes home to a exhausted, stressed out dad. Who's trying to figure out how to give his kid this magical life. Like you mentioned, that's got that's that, that math doesn't apply to that can barely afford rent. that can barely afford groceries and that's a kid constantly coming home to a tense home, to an anxious home. And that means we got to we got to change that whole thing because it is this whole thing's going to end in ash, but you're also going to end with a frazzled, exhausted kid who feels responsible for making sure dad's okay and that's not your kid's job. And so man, I, I think now you're going to start looking to take pictures in the evenings and on weekends and at big wedding events and you're going to have to find yourself a job where you're going to make way more money. Yeah, something's going to give. So um, I, I always suggest if we're going to have pain, let's choose the pain yes. instead of letting it choose us. Yes, every time. And there's 100% of the situation that's going to have pain. So choose the pain. 
I, the pain is a career change, an adjustment to uh, what type of photography you do or when you do it. The pain is moving. The pain is a different housing situation within the constraints of the neighborhood, uh, which is probably very difficult. But there's something is going to give. You can't just sit here and go, in the name of all that is noble and good for my child, I'm going to pretend like this isn't happening because it's going to happen to you. You cannot sustain this situation. Um, it, it's just that simple. And, and it's, uh, it's not me. That's just 30 years of coaching people and counseling with people that are in trouble. And, dude, you're trouble looking for a place to happen right now. And let's, let's, we talked about this in an, in an earlier segment. Let's don't forget, you have the opportunity to teach your son over a one to two to three to four year period what it looks like to change midstream, to get that grit and resilience we were talking about in that earlier segment, to develop new skills and new strength and see his dad go back to school and see his dad get qualified for a new job, see his dad do all these really hard, gritty things for his son and for, the sake of his family tree moving forward. It's not going to be pleasant at the time, but man, you're giving your kid a gift. Yeah. You've got to get this situation healthy because I will give you, uh, unless your ex-wife is an anomaly, she's also facing the same thing you're facing. Hmm. Unless she's like, you know, uh, a heart surgeon or something. And, and, you know, uh, in, in Manhattan, you know, making 500 K she's probably also facing the same thing. So if she could be an anomaly, but if she's trying to do, it could be you all had two average to below average incomes when combined made it work in the city, but split up, both of you are screwed. That may be where you are. And, and so your kid may be going from one stressed house to another stressed house to John's point. Likely is. I don't know. I don't know your ex's situation, but... Uh, and I'm not going to get into that. That doesn't matter. But I'm just saying there's a high probability that's going on too. So uh, she's she doesn't get a pass on math just because she's pissed at you either. Math catches up with you. It works in New York. It works in California. It works in Abilene. It works in Tulsa. And it works in Nashville. And it always works the same because it's math. And you just cannot run from it. Uh, and, and it's not a Dave thing. It's not a Ramsey thing. It's not a hateful thing. It's not a racist thing. It's just math. It, it, when we live in a, in a culture that says, follow your passion and follow your dreams, well, my dream is to be a photographer in Manhattan. Like, I'm going to go to the epicenter of all that is fashion and all that is high society, and I'm going to be a photographer. I'm going to capture and be an artist. And then all of a sudden, you get divorced, and <laughs> rent doesn't care what your dreams are. Rent just cares what the dollar amount is. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm heartbroken for you, man. I'm sorry you're facing this. It's hard. Yeah. And I'm not belittling uh, how painful this is. I'm just begging you to choose your pain because of all the other pain you've been through. And in the name of creating a fantasy land for your child, it, sometimes people don't choose the pain and it will choose you if you don't choose it. So pick your poison. What's it going to be? Something's going to move. And I strongly suggest to you, my friend, that you do the moving instead of the moving being done on you. Because not acting is going to bring this to your doorstep. 